Well, I got uh, asked to do a, um, an end around at Douglas Corner by a friend of mine named Wood Newton and uh, Janet McLaughlin. And uh, it's, they said there were, this other woman was going to be there, and it was Amy, and I'd never met her before. And we sat down, and she was to my left, and I followed her all night. So uh, I never heard any of her songs, and, and and they're different. They're very different than the kind of stuff I was playing, and, and the rest of them were too. And every time she'd play one, she had this super, super intense guitar style, and I just was so fascinated by it, you know. And it was everything she did was real, super intense, and. Uh, so I just, you know, I enjoyed it. Afterwards, I said, hey, if you ever want to try to write some songs. And that was like, I might as well say, hey, would you, if you ever want to build a rocket ship and fly to the moon, let me know, because I'm your guy. Because she'd never written any songs with anybody. It was, uh, frankly, I don't think she had any clue what I was talking about. And uh, then we did another one. And uh, I think I came to see her play at the, over in East Nashville, the Five Spot, I think. And... Uh, and she had a guitar player with her that time, and I think I, I thought that was cool. And then we did another, We ended up doing another round, maybe at the Bluebird or someplace. And uh, so I just continued to hammer at her, you know, hey, you know, if you want to write, I'm the guy. You don't be afraid. And uh, she was pretty afraid of it, actually. And uh, I don't think she was. Uh, I just don't think she had a clue how to do that because that's not how she writes. And I said, look, I, you know, trust me, if it's not fun, we won't do it. And I kept emphasizing this word fun. Fun. And she got fun. Okay, fun. I got to remember that. And so finally, we got brave, she got brave enough and we, we met and, and uh, kind of sat there and we kind of fooled around with something. And it wasn't painful. Uh, nothing real big came out of it. But the second time, we got something going and... Uh, I think it ended up being one of the songs on this album that's uh, really one of the n nicest ones, actually, in my opinion. But uh, uh, one of the things she didn't realize was that somebody could write with her in her style, not her in my style. I wasn't trying to get her to do what I normally would do. And, uh, I, you know, I love co-writing because you can sort of disappear into the other person's you know, uh, story and 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 kind of vicariously live through their lyrics and and try to match them with yours. And it's the fun of co-writing, in my opinion. I think she started to have some fun, and then we ended up writing about. I think we have five songs on the record, so wow. so it turned out turned out pretty good. And the and the highest compliment was that Kenny said he couldn't tell which ones were hers and which ones were ours, and that's that's, that's the success story. And uh, I just like I like hanging out with Amy. We've become real good friends, and she's just a, a different kind of performer. I think you know she gets a wider exposure. I think people will grab onto that. She's uh, she's real. Everything she does is real. 